ChatGPT and Consensus App go head to head in a competition to see which is better to support you in literature review. Let's do this. Hello, shiny, happy people of the internet. My name is Greg Martin. Now I use AI all of the time. ChatGPT's deep research feature is absolutely phenomenal. Consensus app is basically purpose built to support literature review. And I was wondering which of the two of these is better. And so I devised a very clever way. And I don't think anybody else has done this. A very clever way of figuring it out. I went to Claude, which is an AI built by Anthropic. And I asked it to devise a strategy to compare ChatGPT and Consensus app. And here's my prompt. I said, I want to test and compare ChatGPT with Consensus app regarding their ability to undertake a basic literature review in the medical or public health sciences space. Can you suggest a series of prompts that I could use to do this test? Okay, as you can imagine, Claude came up with a whole little strategy. I'm not going to go through it in detail with you right now, but suffice to say it came up with some excellent prompts that can be used to compare the two. Claude also came up with a set of criteria against which each of these can be considered. And then I said, I'm going to run each of these searches one at a time and give you the results. I want you to grade each of them against the criteria that you've suggested above. And then I want you to create a summary table for me. Now, Claude actually did a very comprehensive and detailed comparison between the two of these. But the summary is this. If you look at the criteria that are on the screen at the moment, in every single occasion that I used a prompt, when I used the same prompt in both Consensus App and ChatGPT, Consensus App scored better. Here's the first prompt. And here's the next one that I did. And you can see that in each case and others that I did, Consensus App did better. So out of a score of possible 40, Consensus App got 38, ChatGPT got 29. Now, these results don't actually surprise me. Consensus App is purpose-built to do lit review. I want to walk you through the results that it gave from one of the prompts just to show you how good it is. So let's take a look at these results. Even before we start looking at individual papers, and of course, Consensus.app gives you absolutely detailed insight into individual papers. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. But the summary that it gives you at the beginning is so incredibly detailed and, and, and comprehensive. It's just, it's quite remarkable. And just hold on to your hats. You're going to love this. Okay. It starts off with an introduction. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then there's this lovely summary of the main papers, the highest impact papers, and it gives you a sense of the extent to which papers were sort of saying yes or no or maybe against the question that you've asked it. And I'm not going to go into detail here because there's so much more I want to show you. But this is really, I find this a, a tremendously useful starting point when you're approaching a topic that you're not necessarily very familiar with. It goes into the method of the search itself and talks about how it got to the papers that it selected. Well, that's useful. Then, of course, the results, super duper useful. Everything cited, you can cite it. You can click on any of these numbers and it'll take you to the information about that paper. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Key papers, the most important papers, it gives you a little summary of them, which is useful. The top contributing authors, some information about that, a little bit of discussion, claims and evidence table. And this gives you the strength of evidence against the most important claims and the reasoning behind them and the papers that contributed to that part of the discussion. I mean, this is absolutely gold. It would take you weeks of reading papers to come up with a summary that was as detailed as this. After all of this, there's a conclusion. Research gaps, it's got a research gaps matrix. You can look at that. Open research questions. So if you're into research, this is absolutely gold. This is really kind of holding your hand and walking you through the subject matter in incredible detail. And then we get into the results and we start looking at individual papers. So let's have a look at that. So even before you start reading through full texts of papers, you want to get a sense of which are the more important papers, which are the papers that really address the research question that you're trying to tackle and the this is perfect for that. So the first thing I do is I look at this in default mode, not compact. And then I like to open things up a little bit just to have a good sense of the paper, the population that was looked at, the sample size, etc., the methodology used. This is a lovely way to start looking at papers and decide which are the papers that you really want to extract out and read the full text. And here's a feature that I absolutely love. Where the paper is available and it's, and it's open access, you can click on ask this paper. And now you can literally ask anything about the paper. You can read the full text, of course, and I encourage you to do that. But you can also ask for, for example, a summary of the paper where there are conflicts of interest did the authors mention any limitations, but type in your own questions and it will provide an answer to those questions in relatively real time. So for example, we've asked were there any conflicts of interest. I'm going to put in a new question here that kind of says, did the paper mention any gaps in research? Enter. Boom shakalaka. There you go. So as you can probably tell, I'm a huge fan of Consensus App. I think you should go try it out, test drive it yourself. Um, hope you're doing well. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Stay and watch another video. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.